doctor's strike is on until such a time that the county shall meet our demands. As you can see yourself in this facility, there's no single doctor here. And it has gotten to that point whereby a mere notice or even asking them to go back to work will not bring them back to work. It has gotten to that point. And what we want to plead the county government is to look at these matters very seriously. Let them not think that the doctors are bluffing or that the doctors want the patients to suffer. No. We feel that it is the county government who has been on strike for those many years. For two years, three years, they have been on strike by not promoting the doctor. If they did promote the doctor, and indeed every single healthcare worker, and indeed every other non-healthcare worker, we would not be here to begin with. We would be having patients walking into this facility today, getting served, getting service, various service. Right now, the maternity is empty. And it's unfortunate that even as we speak right now, we are speaking in a ghost hospital, a deserted hospital, where you don't have a single doctor. You don't have a single doctor on the ground. You can do your own spot check and you will see nothing is running. We've had reports of uh, patients suffering. We have spoken with some of them, those who have come even uh, to our uh, notice, we have spoken with them and they are honestly suffering. And as uh, doctors in this county, we are saddened. We are saddened because we have a situation whereby the doctors feel aggrieved. The healthcare workers generally feel aggrieved, including those who are not necessarily on strike. But we, as we know it, so far we had three unions issue strike notices. These people are aggrieved and now they are caught between a rock and a hard place whereby, even with their grievances, they still have to empathize with the patients and try to help these patients because these patients are our friends. These patients are our community, these patients are our relatives, these patients are our wives and children and grandparents and so on. So we feel terrible as healthcare workers when we have to put down our tools because of a problem that we feel the employer could sort within the snap of a finger. Healthcare workers and more so doctors are not special in any way. These are human beings, these are workers just like anybody. And we deeply empathize with any other worker out there who may not be a healthcare worker, who still deserves their promotion. But what we want to say is that that situation is not the creation of the doctor. It is not the creation of the healthcare worker that there are some other workers out there who deserve promotion, who are not healthcare workers, but nobody has cared to promote them. Okay? It only means that this problem that the doctor is facing is being faced by this other healthcare worker, I mean by this other worker who is not necessarily a doctor or a healthcare worker. And what we want to appeal to those other workers is they should join our cause. They should down tools. For us, we have not been served with any court uh, summons or orders and our members are fully on strike. And even to our colleagues who have been served, uh, we, 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 we know they will obey those orders. But for us now, we, we are saying that let us not get to a situation whereby the county government wants to use the courts or to abuse the courts to infringe on workers' rights. Because if you are supposed to resignate a worker that you have employed and when they ask for it you take them to court, then that is double tragedy. You have not promoted this person and then you want to arrest them in court. I think that just tells us the insensitivity of the government we are dealing with. So doctors will remain on strike. When we are served, we will go to court and we shall fight to the very end because some of these uh, issues that we have are very gross. We have the issues of no insurance cover. So as a doctor, as a healthcare worker, how do you work when there's no insurance cover? When you're coming to treat a patient, yes, like we've said, it's a community. But as you serve that community, you need to be safe yourself. You're not immune to sickness. So when you fall sick, then how do you treat yourself? But how does someone treat you if you don't have insurance cover? You have to think of that as a human being, not just as a doctor.